Hey there friends, today we're gonna to be installing this Amazon Basics keypad touch entry deadbolt. It's a very simple process and let's go ahead and do it right now. Now this is the specific lock that we actually are installing today. You can see it was right around $50 on Amazon. I'm also going to put a link in the description box below where you can find this as well as some other keypad options that are available to purchase through Amazon. Now these are affiliate links, but if you want to support this channel at no extra cost to you, you can actually use those links and I'll get a little small commission. Okay, so the door lock came in this little box here and uh, let's go ahead and pull it open and see what all is included. So we've got a little uh, template design. This is if you actually need to cut uh, your own hole in the uh, the door, the new door frame that you potentially have purchased. Uh, you also have a Amazon Basics guide and with multiple languages, uh, as you can see there, Spanish, and then you got English up front there. So that's a handy little guide. We've got the, uh, the back unit here. Uh, this is gonna be installed on the inside of our door. You can see there's the deadbolt and the mechanism that it's, it turns is back there. So that's the, uh, the back side of our lock. So this looks like a lot of our hardware. See there's multiple items here. So again, be careful when you're opening this up. You wanna make sure you're not losing any of these little pieces. We've got our screws. We've got uh, the brackets for our door and our door jam, as well as the actual uh, deadbolt locking mechanism and our keys. So that's kind of great. We also have, uh, this is gonna be the locking mechanism that installs on the other side, on the outside of the door where the key can go. And then we have the keypad module here that will also be installed on the outside of the door. So it's a really good looking piece. The buttons feel really solid. Uh, so again, for an Amazon Basics product, I think the quality is, uh, is fairly great. So let's get to the install process and we'll see how it feels after installation. So if for some reason you are installing this on a brand new door that needs these additional template cuts, this is again how you are going to be doing that with that little template guide that was included in the packaging. All right, first thing for us to do is to actually remove our old deadbolt. So a couple of things that need to be undone, you can obviously see the two screws that are in here holding the lock mechanism in place into the door jam, as well as the actual deadbolt uh, knob that can be accessed using these two screws right here. So we're gonna use this Phillips head screwdriver. We're gonna grab those two, and then we're gonna grab these two Phillips head screws and pull them out so we can remove that entire mechanism. Again, it'll drop through and allowing us to pull this off the front. Okay, and with those two removed, this whole assembly actually will come off. And as you can see, that little uh, turning mechanism is the thing that punches through and holds these two pieces together, allowing it to stay onto the jam like that. So that's basically the, uh, the knob removal. Now we're gonna remove the little lock mechanism that goes through your actual door jam. Okay, once you have those two screws out, this entire mechanism just kind of slides right out and uh, we can discard that old one. Okay, so this is our new mechanism that we're gonna be replacing first. And again, I'm just taking it stock straight out of the box because I think it's gonna fit great. But what we do need to do is we need to open up the mechanism by, uh, by basically twisting it, and I'm gonna do the, try to do this with one hand. But as you can see it, by twisting it over like that, it actually extends to its full length. And once it's extended to its full length, we can stick it into that old slot just again to make sure that back end over there is long enough for this uh, this new mechanism. So I'm going to place this in there and let's make sure we have enough room. Okay, as you can see that slides in just great. Again, make sure this rectangular hole is pointed towards the bottom. 
Uh, you don't, if you flip it on the other end, your whole mechanism is gonna sit a little bit higher. So if you want it to match the previous lock that was here, again, for me, I'm gonna have that rectangle in the down position. Okay, the next piece is to install now. We're gonna be the front keypad with our locking mechanism pushed through the front end like that. We're gonna need uh, two mounting screws because this is our mounting bracket that's gonna be going on the inside of the door. Lastly, we'll be mounting this actually on top of this, but these are the only pieces we're gonna need at this point. Okay, the locking mechanism is actually gonna be pushed in just like this with your lock up and down. It's gonna slide through and then we're actually gonna to have to manipulate that wire underneath as well. Okay, so here's what that lock looks like installed on the keypad. And again, what we're gonna do if you look behind here is we're going to be feeding the wire that connects underneath the lock so you can see it's right underneath there and then we need to make sure this locking rod goes right through the middle of that a rectangular hole and then that keypad is just going to sit flush against your door just like that here's a picture from the other side you can see again the wire coming underneath the lock and the rod coming straight through that middle rectangle Okay, our next job is to place this mounting bracket on the inside of the door again. Now, again, this is the proper way to install it. You can see with these two markings. This is a specific one that came in my packaging, but you're gonna to wanna to have uh, this tab facing inward, as you can see. And we're actually gonna put that rod right through the middle, and the wire is gonna come down through this slot right here. So again, uh, this is gonna be a little bit difficult with one hand. Let me put this on and I'll kind of give you a picture of what it looks like uh, mounted on there. Okay, the bracket's being held in place, you can see by the rod right now. But what we're gonna do is put these two mounting screws, one into this hole, one into this hole. It's gonna connect with the other two screws from the keypad. You can see they're right in there. And that is actually gonna tighten down and keep this bracket in place without needing that rod sticking out like that. Okay, so you can see I've got one screw in right now and I'm in the process of putting the other one in. I just wanted to show you, you really do need to hold everything flush and make sure uh, this specific uh, key lock is in the downward position like that. And it kind of takes two hands. You need to hold one on this end, and again, while you're using your screwdriver, to screw in the, the second side over here. So let me go ahead and get this one all the way in. Again, I'm gonna need two hands, and we'll take a look at our next steps. Okay, so that's completely flush. You can see it's uh, both screws are in there now. This is flush against the door. There's no spaces at the bottom, which is great. What I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to take our key and I'm going to give this a quick turn and I just want to make sure everything's working okay up until this point. As you can see the, the deadlock comes out and our knob is, our, our little locking rod is going back and forth. So good to go from here, that's good news. I'm going to pull my key out and let's get that back uh, piece mounted on there now. Alright so this is the next piece that we're going to be mounting on the inside of the door. And again, I've jimmied loose the bottom here. This, this actually is on, wedged on pretty tight, which is nice. You've got your code features that are on the back of that, as well as a slot for four AA batteries. Again, I, I suggest using some really good high quality batteries for this. That way you're not worried about getting locked out in the event you don't have a key. And basically what we're gonna do is keep this back end off because we're gonna be mounting now the rest of this using those screws uh, both at the bottom there as well as these two guys right here and one up top. Again, there's our wire that we're gonna be connecting uh, to that other wire that we slid in from the front side keypad. So again, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started with this guy. Okay, we're actually only gonna need three screws for this. The reason they have this on the top or the bottom is so that you can adjust it based off of how your door is. Now, for the way that we're gonna be installing it, we're actually gonna have our lock mechanism on the bottom here and the batteries on the top. So again, we're gonna be putting two screws in here, one in the bottom. So now this is important. You actually need to make sure this knob is in the correct position before mounting this. So for us, because we're using a right-hand door, we're actually gonna be mounting it this way, meaning our mechanism right there, we need to have this turned all the way to the left. Okay, let's go ahead and set this in. Again, first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect these two wires right here, and then we're gonna be sticking the, our, our locking rod right here directly into this hole right here. And that'll allow us to, to sit this flush, and then we can put our screws in. 
Okay, you can see I have my two wires connected. It's really easy, they just kind of slip into each other. And then our locking rod is gonna slide right into that hole right there. And then as you can see, it pushes back flush against the door. So that's cool. Let's put a screw in there and then a screw in there and in the, on that side as well. Okay, with this back piece in place, now we can go ahead and test just again our manual locking mechanism. See deadbolt is looking great back and forth. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, now we just need to go ahead and get some batteries in this. We'll put our back piece back on and we'll get our electronics all set up on our keypad. Okay, then we're just gonna put our cover back on and into place. There we go, nice and flush and secure. All right, friends, that is the basic installation process for this Amazon Basics keypad. So far, it's actually worked really great. Again, what you'll need to do is go through the instruction manual and set up the codes to allow the new user codes as well as delete old default codes. If you're looking for the instructions on how to do that, look in the description box below. I've got a couple extra videos that tell exactly how to do that. If this has helped, would you guys please hit that thumbs up button? It really does help us make more great videos. And stay tuned, you might wanna hit that subscribe button because you get a lot more home tips, tricks, tutorial videos coming up real soon. Thanks so much for watching.